Now that we've been able to telnet from the network automation container to the router and make changes to it, let's do something similar with the switch. So on the network automation container, we currently have a script, python 31py I'm gonna copy that script to another script called python 32py So we've now got two scripts, and what I'll do now is edit python 32.py. In this example, we wanna configure a different device. So let's configure the switch with IP address 192.168.122.72. Here's the console of the switch. So I'll give it a name, switch one. Do show IP interface brief. Shows us interfaces on the switch. What I'll do here is configure the IP address on VLAN one slash 24 mask and I'll no shut interface of VLAN one. So show IP interface brief again. We've now got VLAN one configured with this IP address and the interface is up up. What I now need to do is configure a username. To be consistent, I'll keep it the same. Configure and enable password. In the real world, you may wanna use a secret password, but this is fine for our examples and allows us to verify our scripts. As we can see, the usernames and passwords used. Login local is gonna be used on the VTY lines and we're going to allow all protocols to access the VTY lines. So back on the network automation container, I'll save that script. Let's confirm that we can ping the switch. Yes, we can. Can we telnet to the switch? Username is David, password is Cisco. Type enable, and the answer is yes. We can telnet and access enable mode on the switch from the network automation container. So on our script, we're going to telnet to the switch, IP address 192.168.122.72. We're going to prompt the user for the username and password. And at this point, the script is gonna telnet to the switch. It's gonna look for username. So again, we can confirm that the same process is used on the switch by telnetting to the switch. So telnet to the switch, username is what's prompted for, and then password. So this code can be reused for the telnet connections to the switch. All I've done at this point is change the IP address. On the switch, we need to type enable and the password of Cisco so that stays the same. We then go to global config mode, and rather than creating loopbacks, let's configure VLANs on the switch. So I'll configure VLAN two and give it a name of Python VLAN two. So basically on the switch, we're gonna go to global config mode, type VLAN two, and then configure a name of Python VLAN 2. So let's do it like this. So hopefully, when we run the script, we should see a result like this. So what I'll do is remove VLAN 2 from the switch, show VLAN brief, we only have the default VLANs on the switch. What I'll do here is delete lines by using control K, and then I'll copy these lines into the script. Now programmers with lots of experience will tell you that you should use loops and not duplicate code like we're doing here. Again, that is true. We'll get to that later. For now, let's configure VLANs 2, 3, 4, and 5 on the switch. Later on, we'll 
user loop to configure 100 VLANs on the switch. At the moment, we only have VLAN 1 as the Ethernet VLAN. We're not going to worry about these VLANs. They are not supported on the switch anyway. I'll save the script. Python 3, Python 3, 2.py. Username is David, password is Cisco. Before I press enter, debug Telnet on the switch. Press enter now. We can see that the script is Telnetting to the switch. We can see on the network automation container that VLANs were created on the switch. So show VLAN brief. We can see that those VLANs were created on the switch. So it was as simple as that to configure VLANs on a Cisco switch using Python. I could copy those lines of code and edit those lines to create more VLANs. So let's create eight VLANs on the switch, for example. So VLAN six, seven, and eight will now be created on the switch. Back on the switch once again, we only have VLANs one, two, three, four, and five. But if I run the script again, script telnets to the switch and has created these additional VLANs. So show VLAN brief. There are the VLANs on the switch. So we've now got two scripts. Python 3, Python 3, 1.py makes changes to the router. 3.2 makes changes to the switch. These are again very simple scripts. But hopefully it shows you how you can configure network devices using Python with just a few lines of code. This is not a very large script, but we've been able to use the script to make changes to the network devices. Now again, you may want to use a more powerful IDE to make your changes. So you could use something like Sublime Text, PyCharm or something else to do your actual editing. And then you can simply paste those scripts into the network automation container. I'm going to do that later in the course as our scripts become more powerful and more complicated. I just want to get you started automating. Once you get started and see what's possible, hopefully you can think of other scenarios and other things that you can do using Python to automate your network.